Hello and welcome to my channel, I'm Dr. Arshia and today's discussion is about the new experimental drugs that originally made to fight cancer. But apparently a group of scientists in Nottingham University have did some research on these drugs for fighting coronavirus. At the preliminary test, it was very successful. It could inhibit the coronavirus from replicating inside the cell as well as transmitting from one animal to another. So basically at this stage, no drugs or medicine make me very excited. But there are some characteristics to these drugs that kind of give me some hope for the near future. So if you want to know more about these drugs, you should follow me to this video. So what is this medicine and where does it come from? This medicine called Tapsigargine. And this is a compound that originally extracted from a very poisonous plant that called deadly carrot, which originated from the West Mediterranean country with a scientific name Tapsia garganica. And apparently in this country, if the domestic animal wrongly eat this plant, they will die because it's very poisonous. But at the same time, this plant has been used in the folk medicine. So those people who know how to process this plant have been using this as an anti-inflammatory thing as well as to relieve pain. So after scientists have extracted this special compound that they call it Tapsigargine, they start to using it for fighting cancer. Specifically, they start to do the trial on these drugs to fight the very aggressive form of the brain cancer, which called glioblastoma. And it was quite successful in that respect. But then later on, a group of scientists in the Nottingham University, they start to try to see if this compound have any kind of antiviral activity. And they found that actually this compound have the broad spectrum of the antiviral activity. It not only can fight coronavirus infection, it can fight flu infection and also other type of coronavirus that causing different type of respiratory infection as well. So this is a very interesting finding. The thing is, these are all test means on the cell culture as well as in animals. So in the cell culture, this compound managed to inhibit the virus from replicating inside the cell and in the animal, it managed to help the animal to get cured. Also, it inhibit the transmission of the virus from the treated animal to non-treated animal. So generally, at this stage of the research, nothing really make me so excited because from the cell culture and animal till it come to human, it's a long way and there's a higher chance of failure when it comes to human. But luckily, because this compound have been already tested on human for anti-cancer activity, that's a very heartwarming news. Why? Because it shows that this compound can go through our system and still do the activity without toxication to the patient. That's a very big step. And also, part of good news is that this compound can last inside the acid, means at the low pH, it can survive. So especially we can take it orally. So the acid inside our stomach won't disturb the activity of this compound. This is another good news from this compound. So they soon gonna start the human trial and once I get more information, I will definitely update you. So don't forget to like and subscribe so you won't miss the next video. And I wish you all stay safe and well. Till next time.